Hey Internet, it's Pixel Geek here, and this is a review for RazorZone.com's user experience. Now, you might know Razer for its awesome package design and more awesome gaming equipment, but I'm just reviewing their user experience on their website. Now, if you've been on the Internet for a very long time, you might notice something about this homepage. It looks very dated because it's actually it well, I mean they're probably using the same wireframe as the old Apple homepage. Now if we go to the uh, Wayback Machine this is a screenshot from March 2012 when the new iPad this is probably like version version 2 or something just came out and you can see they're using a hero row a couple of callouts and then a footer in the top nav bar. If we go to Razor's site, top nav bar, hero row, a couple of callouts, and then a lower footer. Now, the difference between these two is that Apple has a bigger hero row and no carousel, whereas this one does. Now, that's all well and fine, and probably someone in the marketing team said make it look like Apple, and that happens a lot, and that's fine. But their layout is from 2012, and they kind of broke out from that layout a little bit. If you go to Apple's current home homepage, it's quite messy, but it's kind of the same. But they broke out of the 960 box, whereas this one is still in the 960 box. So, I would suggest maybe sprucing it up, redesigning the homepage to be something different. And one thing that really bothers me about websites nowadays are the carousels. As you can see down here on these dots, there's nine of them. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't usually stay on a homepage for more than or even stay at the top of the home page for more than 13 seconds or so. And I don't think anyone's going to wait for nine pages of slides. And since these buttons are so small, you know, I don't know how many people are actually clicking on these. I don't know the analytics behind this. So yeah, do you really need a carousel on the home page nowadays? No, because not many people are actually waiting to look for each slide. When it comes to home pages and you're selling product, like I always like to say, tell a story. And Razer has a huge fan base, so I'm wondering how come they don't put their fans first on the home page? For example, you go to Apple's, yeah, it's very crazy, it's so many people all around one iPad, but it shows people using their product. It's kind of like, you know, monkey see, monkey do. Hey, if this guy's using it, maybe I should too. Whereas this site, it's like, here's the product, take it or leave it. And in marketing, you want people to take it. So show people, show pros, gaming pros, using your stuff, and maybe it'll help drive more sales. Just saying. All right, next, the nav bar. Now this treatment, pretty cool, but I'm clicking it and it's doing the up, down, up, down. The first time I clicked it, that's cool. Second time, it's like, hmm, maybe they can have a toggle, you know? But these are just small little things. But here's where the user experience gets a little bit more wonky. So you click on systems, you go to gaming systems page. Let me go back to the home page, I'm going to click on products. Now I'm going to click on peripherals. I don't go to a peripherals page. I get a grandchild nav. Okay, so this would be the parent nav. These would be the children, and this would be the grandchildren nav. So I click on mice, and now I'm here. So let me go back to the home page. So already we have two different experiences. One that goes to an actual page. This one uh, activates a grandchild nav. We go to wearables, a completely different look because they only have one wearable so it goes to a Razer Naboo landing page. 
So where's the home page? Usually it would be right here because you need to click on the logo. Nope, the logo's over here on the top right. So different user experience for all three of these things right here. So, you know, keep it consistent would be my suggestion. Now we go to software. Okay, it does the same thing as peripherals. Cool. Let me go to comms. Okay, it goes to the page that I want. I'm going to go back to home page, products. Let's click, click, click on gear. Cool. So it's just, oops, it's just uh, these first three that give different experiences. And then the other three, yeah, they do the same thing as peripherals. All right. Now, if I go to store, the user experience, it's nice. But again, it feels like something straight out of Apple. Because if I go to the official Apple web store, you have the different categories at the top. Some big call out here. And then a smaller call out. And then even smaller call outs as you scroll down. And that's the Apple version. Keep going. And you have a footer. Go to razors. You have different categories. Big call out. Oh, another carousel. Okay. Big call out, smaller call outs, and then even smaller call outs than footer. So, yeah, I mean, it's still clean, but a suggestion would be break out from the norm of what a lot of marketers say. Be like Apple. How about be yourself and be even better, is what I always like to try to do. All right, so we're going to support, and I don't know if you've noticed, but they've changed domain names. And so when I'm here, I think I'm on the same domain name, and so when I look around, I'm thinking, okay, it's razorzone.com slash gaming systems, but it's not. It's Razor Support. So, you know, I'm, I'm either or on that one, but when you click on products, though, now I feel like something's missing. And you know what it is? It's the actual wearables that goes in the middle of this. And I think also, no, software is there. Oh, the gear. The gear is gone. So you have two different nav bars going. And when you click on systems, you get the grandchild. And when you click on peripherals, grandchild as well. So I guess there's a disconnect between Razor support and razorzone.com. Click on community, and that's where software is. Okay. Yeah, so there's some disconnect. And, you know, all big companies, when it comes to websites, it's hard to get changes all, um, all consistent, but it's possible. So, in my next video of razorzone.com, you'll see a time lapse video of me redesigning their website just for fun. I've already kind of finalized the wireframe on paper but I'll make another write-up on this whole thing on medium.com and until then please tweet me at the pixel geek or leave a comment below and as always please subscribe. Thanks for watching.